Hello everyone, in today's video we will set up gliding. Gliding is a popular mechanic used in many battle royale games like Fortnite, Apex and Call of Duty. Obviously the most popular glider of them all is Batman, with his cape in well, many Batman games. We're setting this up in such a way that you can only activate this once you're in the air, and it will automatically disable once you hit the ground. In order to create this we will need Unity and Game Creator. I've added the horrible mesh I've quickly made in the description so you can try along. Before we start I would like to thank all of my Patreon supporters, the growing support has been absolutely great. Thank you all. Now in order to set up this scene all you'll need is a couple of big blocks from which you can jump on, that's well, glide to, that's basically the idea here. So really simple i've added a water volume um, for those people that have watched my swimming and diving vid tutorial uh, reason for that is because we are using the same jump button for gliding and i want to make sure that if you are using swimming and diving as well that gliding will not mess that up so we're going to do that at the end as a last step just to make sure it's not going to mess up your swimming and diving so scene here is really simple. I've added my mesh here, which I made in Pro Builder. You can download that one if you don't have anything for gliding or parachuting. Now the goal here is to set up gliding, but you know you could set this up for parachuting as well. All you need to do is really adjust some values, and it would be parachuting instead of gliding. It's not really a big difference. In reality so that's completely up to you but I'll go through how to make those adjustments it's really simple and straightforward once you have this set up so we're going to start off by going to our character here so player character and we're going to add a empty now if you have swimming it's going to be below that so we'll call this gliding now the glider needs to be set up somewhat something like this if you're using the glider it doesn't really matter all that much i wouldn't really be using it anyway it's just something temporary and we're going to drag that into gliding now gliding will need a couple of triggers so we're going to add three triggers here there we go this first one will be condition second one an action and the third one will be the plus because we will be reusing the same set of actions here now this will be on land so just look for land and you'll find on land this will be key up and this will be key hold now to make this intuitive I would definitely recommend using the same button as you are using for jumping now for me by default this is space so I'm keeping space here but I would definitely recommend using the same button for as you're using for jumping that way it will feel intuitive and if it's again a different button it's just annoying if you're you know actually playing the game so that's it really simple so on key hold we are going to be gliding when we let go we will reset and the same when we land we will automatically reset as well so pretty straightforward now our conditions will be related to our character so if our player is on air so that means he can only use this set of actions if he's actually in the air if he's not in the air, nothing will happen. Now we need the set of actions for that, obviously. So what we're going to do here is we're going to start off with an animation. Now, I don't have any really fitting animations here. I don't really have anything for gliding. So I'm just using a simple jump mid-air animation. It's not because it's great, it's not It's not meant for this at all. This is a jumping animation, but at least he has his feet in the air, etc. If you are going to do something similar like me, I would recommend not looping it, because it might look a bit weird. So, you know, turn looping off. But again, 
it's not even a fitting animation, but does the trick for now. Now, if you've watched swimming and diving, then this will be familiar. So we are going to change our fall speed here. I'm going to change this to minus two. Now we'll be playing with this a bit just so you see the effect of this. And we are going to set active our, ah, our glider. There you go. Cool. So we're going to activate that actually. So by default, it needs to be disactivated. So that's simply the model. We don't want that weird model to be visible all the time. So really simple. That's what we're going to do. Now with resetting this, we're going to simply reset it all. So we'll go add a character state, reset, and we're going to change our properties again. Now the values here are completely dependent on what your default values are. Now if you want to know what your default values are, all you need to do is go to the player and check here. So basic parameters, gravity and falling speed. So this is where those values come from. Perfect. So we have that set up. Now let's make sure it's dragged in on landing and key up as well. And yeah, that's it. That's all you really need to do. Now we're going to experiment a bit with this to get different results. And I want to show what that really looks like. So right now we have default gliding. So we're not manipulating gravity here. So we'll just glide down, nothing special. Now in the introduction, I manipulated gravity a bit and we were able to glide up a bit. Now this is not realistic, um, but it's a game mechanic you might prefer. So I'm going to use that as well. So there we go. Hold it and we're gliding and it didn't reset. What did I miss here? Well, we need to make sure this is the glider is deactivated again on landing. There we go. So I'm going to give this another try. And we land and it disappears. Perfect. Now, as you can see, we're going straight down. Now, if you want to be able to go up, you, you'll see that you can't manage here. And I was able to do that in the intro. Now reason for that is because I changed gravity in order to be able to do that. So I'm going to give that a go. So we're going to go to our player, I'm going to change gravity to five. And we're going to do the same on reset. Now it's a small change, but I'll show you what this actually does. So as you can see, we're a bit floatier, going a bit higher, and we can actually go up as well. So once it's activated, you'll still go down, so it's not like you're actually flying, but it's a way a mechanic to actually, you know, be able to go up with a glider as well. It's completely up to, up to you if you actually like doing that. It's, you know, there's some obvious downsides to it as well. It's not really realistic, but it completely depends if you want realism or not. Might actually make platforming a bit more fun. So completely up to you. Now I'm going to change this back to the default values. And we're going to demonstrate what actually happens with falling speeds. Now I need to make sure these are correct. There we go. Now the falling speed value basically decides how fast we're going down. If you are using minus 100, you won't be gliding basically. You'll just have the default falling damage, 
value. Now if we use minus 20 for example, we'll already have a really different result. So that's not really gliding anymore either. So that's kind of the trick here when it comes to parachuting, when it comes to falling, is actually changing these values. Now for parachuting, it might actually be the opposite. You might actually want to go really slow. And you'd basically be able to glide really far and long. So that's kind of the, the trick here when it comes to falling speeds, changing these changes how this behaves. So yeah, I would definitely recommend playing around with that, seeing what would fit your game type. Change gravity if you want to go for more fun platforming. Don't change gravity if you're going for realism. So completely up to you. Now, last step, if you are using swimming, and I'm going to show why we need to do this as well, we are using the same buttons here. And if we're in the water, we are seeing this, which is a bit weird. And um, we can't really properly dive either because, well, it's, it's messing things up. So reason for that is because swimming, diving is using the same space bar. Now, all you need to do is you, if you are using swimming, is on tag enter, we have water, and we go to those actions. We have all of these actions here. I'm going to duplicate this one, I'm going to drag and gliding, and we're going to disable it. On exit, we're going to duplicate this one, and we are going to enable gliding. So not the glider itself, that's the important part, but the complete set of actions. So let's give this another go. So let's try this out. Perfect. And there we have it. Really simple, really basic, but we just need to make sure they don't mess with each other. So yeah, that's it really. Now that was gliding in a nutshell, really simple, not really anything we're doing is super advanced here, but you can definitely play around with a lot of these values, play around with gravity to get the desired result. But setting it up like this kind of behaves like it does in all well, Batman Arkham games, for example. So pretty cool without having to do all too much. So hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please hit like and subscribe and I will see you next time.